This screencast video will show you how to manage the grading of student submissions in a loop assignment using marking workflow and marker allocation. Marking workflow is a management feature of the loop assignment that lets you stay on top of which student submissions have been graded, which are yet to be graded, and which have been graded. It is particularly useful when large class numbers are involved. As you grade each student's submission, you can choose to set a status next to it, such as marking completed, in review, or released, which actually has the power to make the grade visible to the student at the end of the grading process. Marker allocation is another management feature, and it does require that marking workflow is turned on in order for it to work. Marker allocation lets you assign student submissions to different editing teachers on the loop page. This is particularly useful if there are several lecturers or groups of tutors who are involved in your module and who are involved in the grading process because you can assign a certain number of submissions to each marker for them to grade. These features are controlled in the settings for the loop assignment. So you can choose to activate these two features when you are setting up an assignment, or you can edit the settings for an assignment afterwards to turn on these features. To do that, on your loop course page, click Turn Editing On. Navigate to where the assignment is on your page, and click Edit, Edit Settings. Scroll down to the Grade section, And next to Use Marking Workflow, select Yes. And Use Marking Allocation, select Yes. Scroll to the bottom and save changes. To allocate different markers to student submissions, click to open the assignment. Click View All Submissions. You may want to allocate student submissions to markers in different ways. For example, you may have specific students you want specific markers to have, or you might just want any random 10 or 20 students to be assigned to a particular person. Whichever option you choose, simply tick the checkbox next to a student to select them. And after selecting your desired number of submissions, scroll to beneath this grading table, and from the With Selected drop-down menu, choose Set Allocated Marker and click Go. Click OK. Scroll down the allocation screen and choose the marker who you want to grade these students. These markers are enrolled as teachers on the loop page. Click Save Changes. Back in the grading table, I can see the marker column has now been populated with the name of the marker who is going to grade these particular students. If you want to just allocate a certain number of students to a particular marker, it might be best to view a certain number of students at any one time in the grading table. To adjust your viewing preferences for the grading table, scroll to the bottom of the page and in Assignments per page, choose your desired number. I'm now viewing 10 students at a time, and I'm going to select all 10 of these at once to assign to a marker. And I can do that by clicking the checkbox next to Select in the top corner of the grading table. Scroll to the bottom, and from the With Selected drop-down menu, choose Set Allocated Marker, and Go. Click OK. As before, choose your allocated marker. Now let's move to the next page of students using the page number index in the top corner of the screen. Select all. Having assigned a marker to every student submission, I'm now going to go and view all student submissions on the page by resetting my display preferences. In the drop-down menu for assignments per page, click All. I can now see in the marker column, for each student, there is a marker allocated to them. Because I have allocated some submissions to myself, I want to filter the grading table to view just the submissions that have been allocated to me. And I can do that from the options area at the bottom of the table and next to marker filter, select my own name. 
the grading table has now refreshed and it is just displaying the six students that I have allocated myself to grade. You can grade students in different ways in the loop assignment. You can use quick grading to simply enter their mark directly into the grading table. Or if you want to give feedback or if you're using a grading method like the rubric or the marking guide, you may wish to access the individual grade screen for each student. And you do that by clicking the grade button next to their name in this grading table. The grading screen displays with a copy of the student's document on the left and a space on the right where you can enter grades. I'm going to collapse the student's document by clicking the first of the three buttons in the bottom right corner of the screen. I'm now left with the grading screen where I can enter in a grade for the student in the numeric field. And in the marking workflow state, I can choose to change that to something else, such as marking completed. This indicates to me and to my fellow markers that I have completed grading this particular student. This does not, however, make the grade visible to the student. Click Save Changes. Click OK. Return out to the grading table by clicking View All Submissions. And then retrieve your next student that has been allocated to you. It's important to note that the change user menu in the top right corner of the grading screen does not recognize the particular students that have been allocated to the marker. As you can see here, I can access all 26 students if I want. Therefore, after grading in the grading screen, you should always return back out to the grading table by clicking the view all submissions link. You can also bulk set all of the marking workflow states from the grading table by selecting particular students and from the with selected drop down menu choose set marking workflow state and click go. Click OK. Scroll down and choose the marking state that you want to apply to these particular student submissions. I can now see that all of these have been indicated as marking completed. This does not mean that students can see the grades, it is just a simple status that a module coordinator, for example, can use to identify how many of the students' submissions have been graded or what status they are in. You may wish to use other statuses, for example, selecting a student, scrolling down to the With Selected menu, setting the workflow state. You may want to set a student as in review, for example, if there is something amiss with their submission that you want to check up on. At the end of the grading process, when all markers have graded their students and when you are satisfied that all grades are complete and accurate and you want to make them visible to students, you can do that by selecting all of them and choosing to set the marking workflow state to released. It is important, however, that when you are doing this, you make sure that you have all students selected, so both the students that have been allocated to you and also the students that have been allocated to other markers as well. So before I release these grades, I'm going to double check that I have all of the students in my class selected. So click cancel to return to the grading table, scroll to the options area underneath the grading table, in marker filter, change to no filter, and now the grading table refreshes and I can see all 26 students in my class who were divided out amongst the, the three teachers. And I'm happy now to release all of their grades so I can select all of them, scroll to the with selected drop down menu, set marking workflow state. And for all 26 of my selected students, I'm going to set their marking workflow state to released. This is the only workflow state that actually has any power behind it because when I set all of these submissions to released, students will be able to see their grades and their feedback. Click Save Changes. So now we have reached the end of our grading process. All students have been graded by all of the markers, all of their grades have been released, and they can now go in and access their grades and feedback. Using marker allocation and the marking workflow state features is a really useful way to manage online assessments.